Um, my favorite photography product. Um, I don't know if I have one. I, uh, I like uh, software. Uh, all this post-processing software I get a big kick out of. Um, new stuff comes out all the time. I don't see this going away. I see it uh, getting to be a bigger and bigger thing. Uh, so I love using the software to post-process my photos. I think it's, um, it's a blast. Uh, my favorite movie. Well, um, uh, you know, this is always a, a tricky one. Uh, I have a whole lot listed, like one from each genre, on my Facebook page and on, on the blog at Stuck in Customs. Um, you know, you do have different, like, different kinds of ice cream. You know, you don't say like one more than the other. It's just, it depends on your mood. Um, I like uh, everything from Amelie, which I'm sure makes me sound like a wussy Frenchman, to uh, Tombstone. Uh, I don't know. You go through my list and psychoanalyze me by the, the movies I like, if you wish, I guess. Uh, the last rental I watched, um, uh, I just watched a whole uh, mess of Woody Allen movies. Um, I like that guy. Um, <laughs> uh, but you know, after watching all of his movies back to back, I I start to think it's sort of like Mexican food. Have you ever heard that all Mexican food is the same, it's just folded differently? That's kind of how I think of his movies. But that's fine, I, I love Mexican food. Um, where you can be found on your days off? Well, I don't really have days off, right, because I, I, I do what I love in my days off or what I do anyway. I take photos and go out on adventures. But I should say that I don't go take photos every day. I kind of wait for the, the muse to visit. When I really get that urge, I go out and I go crazy. Otherwise, I just kind of chill out and, and, and don't. Uh, just relax. Uh, I know this reminds me of something I see people do. They have this um, 365 project where they go out and take a photo and post it every day. I do post a photo every day, but I don't take one every day. I don't know if that's always the best. Um, I think as everyone has their own method. I, I'm not uh, casting aspersions. But um, I think it's best to go out and take photos when when the muse is there, when you, when you really feel like going out. I don't know if you need to, to force yourself to, uh, to go out kind of reminds me of like, you know, forcing yourself to wake up every day at 5 a.m. to go run up a hill, you know. I think that'll work for a while, um, or for longer if you're in the military, but it's just not, you know, it's, I don't know if you could put art on a, on a schedule like that. Um, if I was a superhero, I would be... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think if I had a, a superhero ability, I'd love to be able to make um, awesome sandwiches really quickly. Because I think that'd be really handy. I would use it several times a day, two or three times a day. Uh, I assume you can make breakfast sandwiches. Everyone likes those. Uh, I just think it'd be a very useful superhero uh, thing. And, you know, your friends would come over and you would just whip up sandwiches instantly. They would be amazing. They would think, wow, this is... This is really cool. Next. Uh, if I am typically craving something, it is. Uh, it's either, um, you know, chocolate or uh, a photo adventure. Uh, sometimes I combine the two in a perfect storm of awesomeness. Uh, okay. Uh, the last uh, question is, what is your most favorite photo that you've recently taken? Um, I have to definitely say it's here in Queenstown, um, all around this uh, the southern island of New Zealand. Uh, it's been stunning, and it's it's very satisfying knowing that um, now I know so many tricks, and I I'm so good at you know taking the photos and post processing them or whatever. I I kind of really feel so comfortable with it that when I see something beautiful and stunning. There's no doubt in my mind I can recreate it um, and make it 
uh, feel uh, like it really does in its final result. So uh, I've really been enjoying uh, all my photos from around here. Okay, well, uh, we've been going on for, I don't know how many minutes here, but the lights changed a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll uh, pan the camera around and show you what, what, uh, how things have changed. Um, by the way, I think this is the best time of night, don't you, when it's uh, all dusky and uh, there's still enough ambient light, but the, um, but the lights from the city start coming on. I'll walk over here to the, um, to the edge of the water, try not to drop in the, the MacBook Pro. Um, so there's the Remarkables and those, those beautiful uh, fir trees. They don't like the fir trees here. They say um, it's not natural. That's a, they call it a pist. Um, there's, the, uh, there's the city over there, Queenstown, Queenstown Hill. Um, down there are uh, the other uh, mountains that bend around this huge lake. Uh, here's the waterfront over here with all the restaurants and uh, people milling around and whatnot. It's very nice. It's a little, it's a little chilly, but it's not, not too shabby. All right. Well, if you guys have more questions or whatever, um, just drop me a note um, on Twitter. Just send one to at Trey Ratcliffe. I'm usually pretty good about uh, responding, getting your stuff answered. Um, and uh, and thanks, Mark, for for all the questions. And uh, I hope everyone goes and, and visits uh, your site there at uh, digitalphotobuzz.com. And um, everyone take it easy. All right, thanks. Bye.